Remember when Mike Rowe used to work above us? Did he? Back at the old yeah. office. Yeah, he like was he frequently was, up he on like into the bar. Yeah, when was, we were having a party that one night. I was sick. I was not there, but oh. I heard about that. Yeah. He would like the third floor was like a magazine, and he was somehow associated with. I forget what the situation. was. I make it closer yeah. so that people can definitely hear you. Yeah, Mike Rowe was occasionally around that old office, and he showed up at that party we had. I remember people being very psyched that Micro yes. was there, and I was like, I'm not 100% clear who Mike, oh, right, okay, the guy from the dirty, yeah. okay. The yeah. dirty jobs guy. I got some frantic texts from people about that. Yeah. Now he's like a straight talk guy. <clears throat> he used yeah. to be an opera singer, I believe. No full wow. crap I out think. of that dude. Well, it makes sense that you'd have his own bobblehead then. Like... Oh, man, look at this sexy Micro picture that's on the box for his bobblehead. Oh, Mike Rowe has come to express some troubling opinions in recent years. Oh, yeah? I'm going to say. Yeah. So let's not talk about Mike Rowe anymore. Okay. <laughs> kind of sucks. All right, well, well, let's do talk about the box mail. box we got in the mail, uh, this one is, this one has a weight to it, uh, and it's from New York. Oh. Oh, yeah, get back. Yeah. Might be full of hot dogs. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> yeah. I hope it's full of hot dogs. Apparently this box is coming was foretold. Really? Rory came in with it saying, I don't know what this is. It's a video oh. game. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> this is, uh, okay. All right. There's a. Uh, oh, fuck. So we got a PS1 here. Uh, no screen. Never seen one of those in person. They're yeah. Ridiculously oh, small. Man, this sometimes the lid will get. Oh, yeah. This lid spring. Oh, wow. Nice. There's Great. a little. <laughs> How are you going to get your paper clip in there? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah, I have, I have uh, is, this a, is this NTSC, I assume? Yeah. yeah. The eject button, a little, little gummy. Thanks. Latch a little. Maybe someone stuck a paperclip in it too many times, and that's why it's now kind of a thing. What do you stick a paperclip in there to do? You would, um, before uh, people would insert things into the insides of a PlayStation that would make it boot whatever you, you put in it, you would put a disc in and you would pop the lid with a paper clip in there that kept the lid sensor down and you would swap the disc for another disc like a Japanese game or something like that and then you could swap trick it to get it to boot mm. and stuff that it wouldn't normally boot. All right, so we got a PS1, we got an N64 uh, power cable, so we're already off to a great start. Those two don't work together, is that correct? Uh, I'm gonna say that is correct, yeah. We've got uh, um, an N64 uh, rumble pack here. Let's take a look. These batteries look like they have not uh, corroded, which I assumed as soon as I cracked it open, it would just be like white dust or whatever comes out of that sort of stuff. That's that's cool. I one time won a toy from a raffle, and when I opened it up, battery acid just sprayed out of it. That's cool. Yeah. It's a fun toy. Yeah, I was eight. It was uh, fun. Okay, we've got a composite uh, video cable for what would appear to be like N64 era. It's a Horty cable, mm. SNES N64-ish oh, sort of thing. You don't think there's any GameCube component cables in here, do you? I doubt it. Do you know how valuable those things yeah. are? Really? They go for like three hundred dollars on eBay. What? Yeah. Yeah. I think I've got one. Yeah. Uh, here's uh, this is a Game Boy Advance uh, AC adapter with the uh, I forget what. Hmm. This is just the thing that goes in there and lets you play it with no batteries yeah. and. Looks like. Is that for an SP? I don't know. That's for no, a regular. It's like a, for a regular. Yeah. Like a regular. Okay. Weird. This stuff is that. is very well packaged. Which is always uh, a must when you're dealing with N64 controllers, honestly, because like these things just stick up and they break off and all that other stuff. So, yeah. all right. How's that stick? Feels okay. Yeah. Feels okay. How's the any, any dust in there? Stick dust? Stick dust. A little bit. A little bit of stick dust. A little bit of stick dust. Oh, it's it's got a little bit of grit on it when I move it, and it's a little dirty, but yeah, so far so good. Okay. Well, that's just games. This is just a lot of games. Okay, this is games. Uh, here's another rumble pack. So these are both Japanese rumble packs. Hmm. Which is uh... Jane, did you get any deep fried mac and cheese? Yep. Uh, this is what I got in the mail. Some <laughs> deep fried mac and cheese. It's wrap and I don't know what this is. That looks way better than this shit. I don't know. This is F1 World Grand Prix. Right. Okay, I take it back. Yeah. Uh, the Japanese version. Sorry, do you have the Japanese version of Star Wars Episode One Racer? Oh, fuck. Uh, That's the definitive version. Everyone knows. Ben Quadrero. I know the cheat code to unlock him. Does it work in the Japanese version? I don't know. It might be the opposite. It might be the opposite. These are all Japanese. 
That's cool. Just want to jump in gold eye. Oh. <laughs> that is a wild cover for Shadows of the Empire. That's... Oh yeah, that just looks like an ad. Right. It's <laughs> like they ripped the page off the back of a oh, ma wow. magazine and slapped it on. Yeah, Golden Eye is pretty good looking. Oh yeah. Fuck, that's that's an aesthetic right there. I got the Japanese Golden Eye. You know what I mean. I actually you have I actually poop. have the Japanese version of this game already. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, it is the Japanese version but with US tab configuration. That's mm. how Nintendo sent it out mm. for review like like before review. They were like, "Hey, Here's a chance for you to get a look at it. We reseeded it in a U.S. cartridge. That might be worth something. Uh, but it is still the 1080. All right. Wow. This this is crazy. This is a lot of N64 games. My camera won't focus anymore because I ex oh, zoomed it extremely close. Oh, Punishment. Oh. This is a fantastic fucking game. Never played it. FIFA 98. Sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's a treasure game. Yeah. Um. This is a really good cover too. Just FIFA Road to the World Cup. There's a little uh, Konami soccer. What is this? Is this going to be like J League winning 11 3 or something? I forget what the names of these games were. King of the Hill. Uh, good cartoon. Good game. Whoa. Star Fox 64. Nice. Wave Race 64. Nice. Yeah, these are nice looking covers. So, are, is the N64 region locked? Would these work no, on an American uh, 64? Th th no, but the tabs are the such tabs. that you could you could break these off here and fit them in there, or get like an adapter or something like that. This is uh, We're this, just a lot of this is probably more than I would pay at the hard off for this game. 840 yen. 840? That's about let's say about let's eight say bucks. Eight bucks. Yeah. Oh, that's super. Wait, do you think worth... somebody went on a raid to get these? I don't know. This is not somebody's childhood collection. Could I, be. I don't know. Damn, that, look at that link. You know, that was that was definitely per picked up at a hard off, which is just fun to say. This is very good. Let me keep, keep hard this off. one. Hard off. Hard off. Yeah. Black N64 controller. What about hard on? Wait, what a, that's not... What about, what about... What about it, Brad? Strike this from the record. Head on. Play directly with the oh man, here we go. <laughs> oh yeah. We got a wobbler. Like still Just technically the works, but around. yeah. Ugh. Ugh. Are these Japanese controllers? Can you tell? Is there a label? There probably is somewhere, right? I, if I could, if my eyes worked better, I could read this. This thing is literally you. nothing but the entire catalog of N64. Hybrid Heaven. That's a cool game. Well, I don't know. I would. I would, then wouldn't know. There's another Star Fox 64. Oh, good. Oh, gross. Oh, another. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I don't know how. Sure. Finger brush the button, maybe. I. Who can say? Who can say? There's a crushed up copy of Rush. Crushed up sealed copy of Rush 2. The U.S. version. Oh yeah, hold wait. that sideways, please. It's very crushed. Yeah, I mean this is in English here on the back. This is. Uh, yeah, this Game Boy has had it a little rough. Yeah, I feel like a lot of Game Boys have these days. Best Ooh. Game Boy color, color. Nice. Uh, I, I like, like the the the, is it the purple, purple one. Purple. Yeah. I like the lime green. Mm. And then uh, I like the turquoise. Here we have a uh, okay. Japanese N64. All right. Oh, hey, stock. Who needs? I always check. Is that is that like a weird like every any time I come across an N64, I go like, does this have the expansion pack in it or not? Right. Because we're gonna need one of those one of these days. We will. We did for Goemon. <laughs> oh, is that, does that have one in it? No, no, no not no, a controller no. pack. Like what the, we needed, we needed a. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. This thing. That thing. Oh, okay. Here's. Is there? No. Is this the note? Is there a note? Yes. Ah. Finally, some answers. Dear Jeff, in close find my contribution to the Giant Bomb home for Wayward Video Games. Uh, these are various artifacts from my childhood, including my Japanese N64 uh, that my best friend's relative in Japan sent to the U.S. in the 90s. All the best, Dean. Thanks, Dean. Man, we got it early. Yeah. Or did it come out simultaneously? It came out early. It did? Yeah, because when I started... Right, you guys had it. Yeah, when I started at GameSpot, we were writing a Super Mario 64 strategy guide based off the Japanese version of the game. 
which you know meant you couldn't read anything. Not that there was that much text in it, but uh, yeah, that's cool. It's quite a haul. Yeah, that's. That's a lot of dang in 64 is. games. Thanks, Dean. 24. Yeah, you're both of them. Let me see that game. Let's just display it nicely here. Yeah. I think you, you got to like pose around it. Wow. Wonderful. Uh, you had another box? Oh yeah, this showed up at some point. I didn't bring a knife. That could be a problem. Uh, There's not that much tape. Maybe I can work it out. I'll see if I can find something. I got keys. I solved it. You've unlocked... I have no idea what this is. ...a rare treasure. Georgie from Puerto Rico. Hi guys, I'm Georgie, and I just wanted to congratulate you on your 10 year anniversary and thank you for all the years of entertainment. You guys have made hard times in my life, such as the three month period last year where I had no electricity due to storms destroying our island. Woo. I remember that. Better and brought me happiness when I needed it. Uh, included are some Puerto Rican malt beverages and candy. Oh yes. The lollipop looking pilon candy comes in pina colada Strawberry plus sesame, Ooh. and guava plus pineapple flavors. Oh. The rest of the candy is labeled. Wow. What do we got here? Caribbean taste. Are those the lollipops? No. I believe these are those lollipops. are the lollipops. No cholesterol. What Very is, low in sodium. What does Caribbean taste like? It's like a... Uh, Malibu rum. Oh, okay. I should just tear this. Wow, I'm learning a lot about uh, the iPhone camera right now. Yeah. Like adjusting brightness on the fly. Yep, you can do it. That's crazy. Check out these lollies. I mean, lollipops. Oh, for two. Oh, cool. Sesame seed. Bocaditos de ajon holly. Toasted and crunchy, just like me. <laughs> uh, drinks. It's 420 somewhere. Yeah. It's like these drinks are squishy, but no, it's the bubble wrap around them. Yeah. Flaming this fridge magnet. <laughs> nice. Thanks, Georgie. Thank you. These look fun. This one's got a little smiley face on it. Are those the malt beverages? I assume so. Why does that mean there's booze? I'm not sure. Mm. I mean, it wouldn't... They wouldn't put a smiley face on something that has alcohol in it. No. That's the thing, yeah. It's a BYO smiley face. <laughs> Plus, this has nutrition facts on it. Oh, yeah. So, I usually don't put that on alcohol. Whoa. What is this? There's no label. <laughs> it's just a squishy, Eat it. gelatinous thing. I gotta have to know. Eat the jelly. What is it? Kind of looks like really thick fruit roll up. Okay. Like a fruit leather. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nice. Oh, that can be a fruit leather. Malta India contains no alcohol. <laughs> Hashtag Levanta lo local. Little smiley face there. All right, I want to know what this is about. This can size feels like it's a little narrower than a regular can. Am I right? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's I can't open this. Malt. Yeah. Like a like a like a malt. Like a malt. 
not like a chocolate malt, not oh, a, like a malt, like just just a malt, just, just a, malt, just a malta. I don't know what that means. Malt. The malted malta. You know how when you drink like a malted chocolate or like a beer balls. Can you, can you hold this for a second? I want to crack into one of these. Thick. Okay. It's a little and thick. Malty. Yeah, it's malty. Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure I'm any closer. So it's like malted. These are incredibly well packaged. Yeah. This guy must have watched previous mailbags. Yeah, yeah. There was definitely a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of drinks have been lost at sea. And by at sea, I mean on the floor of this office. Uh, when I open a box and how's the plastic taste? Bad. Weird. This is amazing. This is well. Almost there. It's like a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. Emerging from. Mm. Alright, now I'm curious. Yeah, like I wouldn't necessarily say it's like a apple flavor. Like I guess this isn't necessarily an apple. Right? Mm. But you see why I would think it might be. Uh, no? Eh, it's pretty nondescript to me. There's no stem. Yeah, you're right. There's no stem. Yeah. That could be anything. It could be a butt. It's just a malted butt. the hardest thing I've ever done. Whoa. That's malty. Yeah, right? It's malt-like. It is It is not only malt-like, it is, that's it's it. Malt, malt S. It's not like here's this it's, malted uh, malt liquor, right. mar, malt it's other like flavor. A, it's like a, it's like a malt, malt water. It's like a malted malt. Yeah. This maltness is almost overwhelming. How's it going over there? Man. Oh, really good. Just peel it. It's gonna peel slowly around the outside. Oh, I got it. I got it. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like. Okay. Oh, there you go. Jeez, Louise. Finish on that, like the. Yeah. Right after you swallow it, like it just sort of. Whoa. That's done. Get that all over the table. I got a little bit on the Game Boy. Malted Game Boy. Mmm. That actually sounds bad. Yeah. I didn't know it was carbonated. It's carbonated, by the way. <laughs> like barely. It smells like soy sauce. You want a malt beverage? No, thank you. He has a different kind of malt beverage. Oh. Smart. I like that. Think it'd be better cold? Yes. Probably. Yeah. So, mm, it tastes like soup. Sure. Mm. Yeah. But like like a soup soda. Mmm. Nice barley. Yeah. Yeah. It smells buttery in a way. I've never tasted anything quite like it. Yeah, it's really hard to compare it to any one other thing. Really like aromatic. You feel it up in your nose. It's like suck. It's like if you can imagine sucking on a malt, like peeling away the chocolate of a malted milk ball. Yeah. Just eating the inside part, but like getting a bunch of those. Like thirty at a time. And like combined with a liquid. Yeah. Yep. Combined with a liquid. I think it would be a lot better cold, actually. All right. Well, we'll put these in the fridge. Yeah. And, uh, and try those cold. Thank cool. you, everyone. Yeah. Let's play some Japanese N64 and, yeah, get, and get malted. Ah. No, that's okay. How about this one? No, that's okay. Well, I'm out of ideas. <laughs>